Hey guys, I'd just like to re reiterate before we get into the patch details that I do not give out clear UI beta codes if you ask me for them. The only way to get them is to follow the ModHub Facebook page, ModHub site, Z8 Forum thread, and sometimes even these YouTube videos, all links of which will be in the description below. The beta is also only for the Z8 Games version of Crossfire. Clear UI beta has just been out for a week now, and the beta is going pretty well. I mean, a large amount of people downloaded it. Uh, I've been slaving away over the past week to add a few new features to the program and client, along with fixing some bulk, some bugs and improving the site. I know many of you are desperate to get into the beta, but I'm afraid the only way is, is to actually get a code, so look out for them. But yeah, first off, we'll load up the client and show you what I've done to it. It's not massive changes, it's just fixes and a few additions, but hey. You'll notice straight off when you load it up for the first time after the patch that there's a little module on the front home of the login screen. It's got a few, it's got the list of changes to the uh, to clear UI in general, along with the client changes, so you know what's happening and it's better to keep you informed and uh, see things changing. People going what? Um, but yeah, I've been working to get the rooms fixed over the past week. You'll see very slight changes to the lobby as well as the actual room itself. Uh, most of it on the left hand side. Um, I initially went to uh, have the, I, well I initially wanted to have the weapon icons in the rooms but uh, the client doesn't allow you to do that so it's had to revert to the simple uh, this is a weapon in the um, map icon but hey it now shows as well as the TD slash FFA and the um, actual like Room, proper room info actually works now. Um, the ready button slash cancel button has been fixed. Um, it's also the ready of when a user readies up that actually works now. It's grays out the whole user. Um, the storage and play icons have also been fixed. Um, smoke grenade icon has been fixed, although it shows it here of being split in half. It once you actually go into a game and play something and then come back out of it, it does revert to the usual fixed self. Um, I am fully aware that the bags aren't currently working, that's due to the storage not being there. Once the storage has been implemented, you'll be able to see that the bags, well, you'll see that the bags work correctly. Um, and yeah, they, it's a bit annoying, but hey, we'll see what uh, people have voted for in a sec. Uh, I've also created new map icons for all of the uh, maps on the client. Uh, they do look rather cool, I think. Uh, they're not... They're not all made to look exactly how the map is. I mean, colours aren't correct on a few of them. It's just meant to be... They're meant to look really good. Um, but hey, that's that's all the client changes so far. Um, there's more stuff for the client actually coming next week when we actually get the... Um, when we get the uh, vo uh, votes in. Um... But hey, uh, program changes. Uh, I've slightly, I've changed the design of the actual um, home screen slightly, as well as the patch. Of course, you haven't seen the patch yet, but you'll see it soon enough. Um, it uh, it's got a black bar at the bottom now, so you can actually see the report of us uh, bug link, as well as any update info when there is any info. Uh, there's several backgrounds with making it invisible slash incredibly hard to see what was actually down there. Um, please do use that reporter bug link if you do find any bugs, it is rather helpful. I don't spot everything, it's not physically possible for me to spot everything all the time. Um, but yeah, the main feature being that I've added uh, Imga uploading to the background creation. Once you actually either have or uh, create a new background, you'll be able to upload it to Imga. You also get be given four options of sharing, uh, those being copying the image URL directly, copying the image URL with BB code so that you can post it in a forum straight away, uh, sharing the um, image on Twitter, which actually creates a pre-made Twitter um, post for you with a li little bit of text, the image URL, and then you'll be able to send it straight off to share with your friends. Um, there's also sharing the um, image on Z8 Games, which sends you to a thread link and also copies the BB code for you, so you can then post it in that thread and share it with people who are also interested in slash using the mod. Um, but yeah, 
that's about it. Um, I've also added some extra error codes, so if you do encounter any errors, it will give you a message of what happened, and it it will be fairly well. You won't really understand it, but it will give me some information. So if you do encounter them, just send me the error. Um, I've also uh, changed the, the buttons of the cl of the program, so it m should work on Windows Classic users now because there are some issues where it would black out the buttons. Hopefully it works. If it doesn't, I'll be changing it to images in the next patch. Um, it's annoying, I know, but I don't use Windows Classic, so it's not something that I test out slash thoroughly use. Um, I've also fixed the auto updater, so I know for me at least it was crashing whenever it would launch. It was related to some of the code. Um, but yeah, that should run fine now. When you do get a new update, that will download. It may take a few seconds to get going, but it will it will do its job. Um, but yeah, if you do run into any other bugs or anything, just hit the report a bug link on the, on the program and send me it. But yeah, that's about it for this week's patch. Uh, be sure to follow the uh, ModHub site, Facebook page, and ZX Games forum thread for any news, and I'll see you in a week.